Uh, to catch you up to speed, we got about 16 different pieces of legislation that are going to be pushed tomorrow. I'm going to name them uh, in the event you have interest in any one of these. One Number event. one, uh, Chief of Police uh, Policy Legislation, which is the people's desires uh, for the Los Santos Police Department, high level, right, where the people want uh, uh, crime focused on. What? Uh, number two, uh, Los Santos public photography and video, giving the rights of civilians to be able to film and whatever the police interactions. In addition to that, it authorizes um, actual news agencies uh, from coming into place so that when wearing proper attire, they would be able to, say, get closer to a shootout, um, but also be identifiable. Uh, next, Anti-Extradition Act which is it gives the people of Los Santos County the ability to refuse transport to alternate police departments if they so wish. Uh, next is the Social Committee of Los Santos Police Department. Uh, this is pretty much Peach's little thing to uh, do PD events. Uh, next is the aircraft zoning uh, enactment, allowing for there to be private airline industry that includes trail training of pilots um, so that you, if any one of you guys wanted to become a pilot in Los Santos, there would be individuals that could train you for it. Okay. Uh, the Los Santos Police Department Quality of Life Enhancement Act. Oh, this lets us uh, give bonuses to the PD. Uh, next, what we call the facially challenged license. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you got friends and family that have faces that are, uh, you know, very mask-like or may have apparatuses on their face. Uh, this protects them from having it unethically ripped off. Uh, individuals like um, like Chatterbox and whatnot. That's some like lip-tart shit. The gross, detestable ripping of said individual's face off. So through medical and through the PD, they will be given um, you know special liberties. Um, uh, the Necessary Violence Act. Uh, allowing civilians to defend themselves under immediate threat by all means necessary. Okay. I like that one. Next one. Uh, where is it? Uh, the automated, automated tow tariff, uh, which is going to allow automatic towing, tolling of individuals coming and going to Los Santos County uh, to ensure that any export and import coming into a fine county of Oz is properly charged for as uh, they are going to be using our facilities and whatnot. Uh, next is uh, mutual aid emergency services and the lottery and gaming legislation, the state lottery. And finally, the approval of six pieces of legislation for tow trucking, mechanic shops, a material um, reserve, and what's the last one? Expanded sanitation hours and uh, the dispensary. I don't know if any one of those topics interests you, but all these are going on to the docket tomorrow. Well, the big one is uh, for us is the uh, so what, what's the uh, what's the process with the dispensary if we were interested? The process is we pretty much need to file a appeal on the Constitution and state legislation to first authorize uh, dispensaries and uh, grow beds. Um, then what this legislation is going to allow us to do is we're going to have like one grow house and one dispensary to make sure all the kinks are ironed out. Um, but the idea is that people are going to bid for uh, a license. It's going to be highest bidder. Highest bidder and the license covers both the growing and the selling, no, no. or is it two separate licenses? It, it's going to be separated because uh, we want interoperability of businesses. Um, mm. So ideally, there's going to be enough grow houses you can interact with, enough dispensaries you can interact with. Um, that way, there's more like business to business dealing. Yeah. yeah how, how also, many... it promotes uh, competition because I think what would happen is if the same circles owned both. They would just work together, and that reduces cultural output. Uh, the goal of everything that, that we're w doing is, is we fuck. want to increase culture in Los Santos and say no to grinding. 
Hell yeah, baby. Um, and both will be a bid. You said it's one license each to start? Is that what we said? Correct. And that's going to be a for, for a short period of time, maybe a week, maybe a week and a half. And this is to ensure mm -hmm. that there's no, like, I don't know, like, whether... Because the thing is, like, we've got so much on our plate right now that let's say there's a problem with some minute thing we want to make sure that's sorted before having six people to deal with and uh what is the total number going to be uh that you want it to be like once everything's kind of you know figured out and whatnot i think it's going to be like three and three but then we're going to go on like based on how things are right so yeah. i i think like i rather we have oh my god we have pet legislation coming um so like we're trying to get like a pet store up and going right and then you're going to have tow businesses. I don't want to create so many of the same business that I want there. And this is why we're dropping it all at once is we want many businesses that are different and that they kind of might need each other. Yeah. And so I think limiting it three and three is ideal. And if someone starts sucking at it, we give it to someone else. Well, I got a question. Absolutely. You said uh, you said you wanted a uh, more culture over grinders. Quote, grinding, yeah, gr yep. yeah. I can hate that word, but yeah, grinders. Wouldn't wouldn't the bidding process uh, do the opposite of that? They, you still need a business application. So if you come in okay, and okay, okay. you sound like you've been like, you know, fucking sweating fish all day, like we're probably gonna say no. Yeah, we're okay, gonna so, make a so the proposal needs to be good as well as, of course, the money for the bidding. And the presentation. Like, we'll make it a thing. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, I see. I see. Okay. So, so yeah. like, we're not, like, uh, our office handles a lot of, like, calls where people are like, hey, we got this idea, right? We're setting up the framework for them to succeed, for us to be able to tax it appropriately, and for there to be enough oversight that it doesn't become just something that someone does because they're bored. We want to make sure yeah. that they're supported and that they succeed and people want to use them. Otherwise, there's no point. I love Nino's mayor. I mean, listen, this, this gets me horny as fuck. I'm not going to lie. Um, when when do you think the bidding will take place? It depends on what the process... This is the first time we're going to be challenging the Constitution on this point. So it really depends how that looks. As soon as that is done and we get approval, it's done. Like, we, we can just off to the races. That's why we got the legislation done and all that in advance. Fuck yeah. Okay. Well, we're great. Get, we'll right. Also, give you an idea about this, like, like what I mean by culture, is you probably see a lot of people talking about, like, how I reduce tow pay. Um, the reason for that is, uh, as it currently stands, our ability to manage the budget is very um, tight, right? With just it maxing out sanitation on one day, that uses up 33% of the budget. I cannot move those, like, any of the shit without us going in the red. Um, so Jesus. what I've done is I've said, why should we be paying people to tow just with li listening to music all day? Instead, we bumped it down, and now we're going to have two tow businesses up by people that are tow is like their life, and they're going to mm -hmm. be able to employ people in their tow place. There's zoning in, that's already mapped out. So, like, if one of their guys goes and tows vehicles in front of the hospital, like critical areas in the main roads, mm. they put it into the thing and they get reimbursed. So they get yeah, that, James, they get that coming, bonus boy. money through the state. So I'm saving that money and then putting it into the proper business. Does that make sense? So, and then the That's PD can call them for PD zone, right? So take the money off the, off the local bosses and reinvest it into the businesses who are already doing it. That is fucking amazing. I'm trying to truly And this move. isn't all me. This is like the team you see here. Plus, you saw Billy Mays here, longtime friend of mine. Who else is missing? Uh, Michael's, Michael's not, here. not here at the time. Michael, yes. And Mina. Uh, yep. Well, I have mean, you uh, seen the website? We've seen the website, yeah. Very, very impressive. Um, if there's anything you want expanded on there, please let us know. We got big news uh, News that's going to have their own subsection. Bignews.losantos.me. Yeah. So if you have things that you want to put up there, please let us know. We're also contemplating, you know, um, like as you get businesses, this becomes like a publication where you can be like, oh, shit, you know, Lang's like pot shop 50% off today. 
Oh, hell people yeah. see it and they're like, oh shit, let me go. You're also going to see a GPS on this with events soon. So if you've got events ho happening in the city, you'll see the marker on the GPS as well as the date and the time. So God, you don't damn, have to send okay. out tweets and all this kind of shit. Fuck yeah. Uh, you also brought up an interesting problem. Um, when we first talked about the, the the properties, the commercial properties, have you have you mm -hmm. do you think we're able to come up with any solution and kind of resolving the shit show with it right now, or, or you think it's just it, kind of dead in the water? It's gonna be the next thing. Like I'm dealing with a lot of political issues right now. Mostly, mm -hmm. a lot of people, mostly the same upset people that are spending their entire life uh, spreading rumors. Now this yeah. has, I could go do this right. But I'm dealing with with bullshit, right? So we're trying to. This is that's kind of in the back end, right now. I'm trying to deal with the budget as I can, and then get these businesses up, and then saying, how do I get more properties back on the market? So we got yeah. some ideas behind it, but it's kind of shelved for the time being. All right, no worries. I mean, we're pretty much interested in the uh, dispensary. If you can keep us in the loop on that, uh, absolutely. We'll get a fucking proposal. You're gonna ready. want to know that? about material. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, I'm going to be... So, we're creating the material reserve of Los Santos County. Now, I, actually, let me get... Let me take a step back. Materials cost the state, with one day pump, n like, I think it was 11 to $12 million. Jesus with it being fuck. low for six, <laughs> six and one. So, even if I pump it up, we're going to be in the red and no one's got paychecks. But the city needs materials. And also, they're going into Buttcoin and other shit instead of the mechanic shop. So it's an unsolvable problem. So then I cooked. And I realized that when I put the slider up, it's almost a, it's like an exponential cost of the state. So you might get 30% more material, but the state is paying like 100% more. Make sense so far? The yeah. real issue is that no one is doing sanitation. The solution is I'm going to be working with the Lumber Union, and we're starting the Los Santos Material Reserve. Think of it like OPEC. And what's going to happen is we are going to be subsidizing uh, materials, which means we're going to pay over market price and in turn bringing state sanitation running on the field. So let's say right mm. now, what's the going price for material? I think it's $10. $10? Oh, you know, yeah. we pay 12, let's say. And now you're like, well, fuck me. What am I going to do? The thing is, there's going to be a handful of mechanic shops and other businesses that will be able to purchase at that tent. Does this make sense? So uh, what we're doing is yeah. we're putting money back into sanitation and saying, go do sanitation, you get a guaranteed high price, and I pay less money by subsidizing it. Yeah, I mean that's fucking smart. I like that idea a lot. Have you have you ever met Wyatt, by the way? Yeah, yeah, he's the guy. Oh, good, good. Yeah, I mean that guy's a fucking animal with, with the furniture company he fucking runs. Uh, and he probably that's exactly why I picked him. Yeah, it's yeah. not a, he's not only in the loop. He's gonna be the guy that's starting it off. Oh um, hell yeah! We're already looking for property and trying to find a way to regulate it, and then over time we can ideally reduce the costs and whatnot. Yeah, sweet. Uh, boys, you guys got any questions? Nah. Not for me, no. Sounds good. All right. All, yeah. All, all we ask is uh, just to let us know when uh, this dispensary shit is getting ready to, to, you know, to fire away so we can be prepared for it. But other all right. than that, you know, thank you for the time, guys. We appreciate it. Easy. All right. You'll take care. Sure. Hey, thanks, guys. You're a fucking thank great you, mayor, Nino. You, you. You're a fucking great mayor, baby. Love you to know, see I'm you. I'm trying my best. Thank you. Have a good night, gentlemen.